Hi there, good morning. This is my fifth day in Sydney, finally getting out of here. Walking down to the train station where I'm going to catch a train heading in the direction of Katoomba in the Blue Mountains. It's been a great five days here. Some really amazing beaches. The uh, weather did not cooperate for uh, the beach experience, but uh, it is fall or autumn as they say here down under. Today is March 25th. For those who haven't followed the travels, then uh, this is my first time to Australia. I flew into Sydney five days ago and so this is my first time getting out of the uh, city here and seeing more of this uh, country continent. Looking forward to it. The Blue Mountains sound really awesome and uh, the little town of Katoomba will be a nice change from the city here. So uh, there we go. Train station. I have my Opal card. So here is my Opal card. I have like $34 on it. So I will probably have to catch a train from here to Central Station and then I think that uh, trains go from there direct like every 15 minutes to Katoomba which is going to be about a two hour train ride. Hello. Hi. I'm going to Katoomba, so do I just go to Central and then from there direct? Yeah, do you know what platform it's leaving from? I'm I, gonna check. I don't, that would be great. So you've got to get three trains. Oh, okay. Train. So from here to Central. Okay, and from here is it one or two? One. Okay. And then from Central you want to go to 18, and then you want to go to Blacktown. And when you get to Blacktown, go to platform six. Uh, so eight, you said go to 18, that's the name of a... Sure, one second. Here we go, train number one. Ten twenty six. Now we need to find platform eighteen. So there's an amazing feature to the seats on these trains, which is that the back of the seat flips up and then you're facing the other way. So you can just do it yourself. Ka-clunk and then you're looking the other direction if you want to face forward. So it looks like that train will get me there, Blacktown, in just six minutes.
All right, so this is Blacktown. Apparently this is where I change to the next train. Seems like a bit of a random location because the train keeps on going in the uh, direction of Katoomba where I'm trying to go. But apparently this is the spot, so... Uh, let's ask somebody. I thought that guy was going to be a train worker because of his vest. So I think that this might be the train in 26 minutes. Good morning, customer. Where's Katumba? There we go. Okay, that's it. So I got some time. Please make your way to platform 6. The next service is about 25 minutes. Thank you. So breakfast is cheese and raisin bran with milk. I have my own cup and bowl. Here we go, the train to Katoomba. Looks like more of a proper long distance train. Here we are, Katoomba. I have a room here for the next two nights, but it is not ideal mountain hiking weather. 33, 36 feet. Interesting to see feet mentioned. I thought they would use meters here. Oh man, that is a annoying drizzle. <laughs> Emu, I think. That is the national bird of Australia, not the bin chicken that I showed in my previous videos. Okay, so I have a hotel walking over there, about uh, 10 minutes, 750 meters. While I'm walking, I'm going to talk about a few things. So the first is the jet lag situation. I talked about this in my first video when I arrived in uh, Sydney 
on an overnight flight and was all jet lagged. So unfortunately, it's bad news in that department. I am totally not over it. My sleep has been all messed up. The past five days in Sydney, all my videos were recorded super late in the afternoon because I've been stuck awake until like five, six, seven in the morning and then sleeping until the afternoon and then waking up and getting out and filming, you know, for a few hours before it gets dark. But uh, what I did is on my second day in Sydney, I slept until three in the afternoon. So the next day, I set my alarm for two in the afternoon. And I woke up to the alarm. And then the next day, Yes, what's happening? I, I, I'm a fan of your channel, sorry. Excellent, no worries at all. I, I, I what's your name? I live here in Katoomba. Oh, very cool. What's your name? Uh, my name is Abushek. AB. Abushek. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right on. I'm uh, vlogging at the moment, if you don't mind. Uh, how how, how do you like Sydney so far? Uh, Sydney was great. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I was there for like five uh, days. It's, I, got the, I got time, so it's cool. Right. Uh, um, just, just, well, welcome did, to Sydney. Thank you very yes, much. Did yes. you see any of the videos from there yet? Or I, I've watched the one about Newtown. Oh, okay. Uh, the one that you did by Newtown. Okay. And I think you were living in Glebe kind of area or something like that. So I... Where I was staying? Yeah. I was in like Potts Point. Potts Point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course, of course. yeah. Nice hotel yeah. there. Yeah. I got around and saw quite a bit. Bondi Beach and uh, the other beaches along there. Bronte and then right. got over to Manly. Right. Yeah. So fair enough. So. Uh, awesome. We'll have, 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 have a wonderful time. Thank you very much. You again. Thanks a lot. I'm hoping yeah. that the weather will uh, improve. Not looking great for like hiking around. Yeah. But... It is what it is. So it's, it's nice and cool today, though. It's yeah, it's got warm. Better so. than blazing hot, I guess. Yeah, All right, man. Well, enjoy the nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Have a good one. All the best. Yeah. <laughs> Classic little town. This could be, you know, in like Idaho or something. So, the next day, I set my alarm for one in the afternoon. Woke up to the alarm, but then I was still stuck awake until early morning, every night in uh, Sydney there, including last night. I didn't get to sleep until, I don't know, five or six. Set my alarm for nine, so only got a couple of hours sleep. So I'm hoping I can get through today and uh, get to sleep at a normal hour, but uh, this is a rough one. So, so the other thing that I wanted to talk about is like making travel plans and uh, whether or not you should book in advance. Now, it just depends on how you travel, you know. If you're going for a week to Hawaii, yeah, you definitely wanna book a hotel in advance. But uh, somebody had recommended to me that I could find a cheaper deal on hotels if I would book like two months in advance. So that totally does not work into my style of traveling at all. And so I'm going to illustrate why. So I was in Sydney trying to decide where to go from there. Looking all directions, north, west, south, and a big factor is, of course, the weather. So Katoomba here was an easy choice because it is just, you know, two hours there from Sydney, get into the mountains, nice, short, easy train ride, and then you're uh, out of the city, up in the mountains, getting a totally different kind of experience. But the weather forecast was this. And so I was seriously considering like should I do that what's the point of going into the mountains and then getting sprinkled on wanting to go for a hike and uh, it's all clouded up you can't see anything and so I was seriously thinking about you know whether to do something else and like maybe just catch a flight north get up to the sunnier beach towns but ultimately I decided to go ahead and go with this and hope that like there would be some sun or at least 
some breaks from the rain, maybe some breaks from the clouds, whatever. It's not feeling like pouring down rain all the time, but this is looking pretty persistent right here. Uh, so anyways, that just kind of shows that uh, I don't want to have hotels booked out for the entire next like three months in Asia when my travel plans are totally spontaneous, flexible. I book flights a few days beforehand. I book hotels usually the day before. There are so many variables, so many factors that uh, determine my plans. And as soon as you get one day off from any of that, it screws everything else up. You, you know, get sick and you want to stay a couple more nights somewhere and then you have all these hotels booked out in all these different places, different countries, whatever. And then now you have to like get back on track or else like cancel all these hotel rooms, which you're probably not going to get refunded for. That's just like an absolute nightmare. That just does not work for me whatsoever. Like no way am I going to book a bunch of hotels out in advance other than, you know, I booked five nights in Sydney before arriving. I can commit to that. But uh, beyond that, then that is really one of the uh, amazing things about traveling these days with the internet. See, we got a little bit of sunshine poking out, so there is some hope that uh, the weather will shift here. That is one of the wonders of uh, 21st century traveling is with the internet, online booking. I have never not been able to find something in a city like the same day. I have had some bad luck with not great places and expensive places, but uh, that is just the price to be paid. I also find lots of great deals. So the cost of things is not really a big deal. And in no way would that counterbalance the situation of having all these hotels booked out and having to, you know, stick to that. So uh, anyways, there are certainly uh, reasons why you might want to book everything in advance for your trip, but uh, not in my case. So, um, all right, time to get into my hotel here, get checked in, hopefully if it's, you know, available now, and then figure out what I'm doing, because going on a hike right now in this weather is not sounding all that appealing. But I like the looks of the town, so we can hope for better weather tomorrow. So here we are, all checked in. I have a private room in a hostel. It's a really amazing hostel building, so uh, maybe I'll show it sometime later, maybe in another video. But uh, all the amenities, TV that I won't use, double bed, in-suite bathroom, nice view, Wi-Fi, all for 120 Australian, that is 80 bucks US. So not cheap, especially for a hostel, but uh, it is Australia. So that's the way it goes.